I am currently in Palm Springs, California, which, if you don't already know, has one of the most unique aesthetics out of any city in America. And uh, I've got about 45 minutes to kill, so let's take a little stroll and see what cool cars we can find. Here's a 94 Corvette, obviously from the C4 generation. A lot of the cars you see around Palm Springs are from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, but uh, I think this 1990s Corvette fits in pretty well. Wheels are pretty cool, very flat looking wheels. We've got the Corvette logo on there, the old Corvette logo. Let's see, automatic transmission. Still pretty cool, pretty clean. The desert is kind to all cars, so you don't really see any rust down here. All right, I almost walked right by this Jeep, and I'm glad I didn't because, as you can see, it's a Renegade. So Jeeps used the Renegade three times on three uh, significantly different vehicles. The first usage of it was on the CJ, uh, in the early 1970s, it was just kind of an appearance package with stickers and stuff. Uh, most recent usage is on the new subcompact crossover, the Renegade. They came out around 2015, and perhaps the most notable Renegade is uh, this one, which is based on the YJ Wrangler. Uh, it's technically an option or package. It's not its own model, but essentially the Renegade package in this application is a body kit that gives the Wrangler a less off-roady, uh, sportier look, I guess you call it, um, in the form of this body kit on the front here. It's almost like a, a full-on step right there along the sides. Again, you've got a step over there and then around the back here more steps, more of a kind of a platform style look. This one's obviously seen better days. This thing is destroyed. I mean, the seat is down to the seat frame. The steering wheel is cracked and missing its centerpiece. <laughs> it's got the club though. Uh, yeah, so this thing has seen better days and it's missing its top. It's odd to see a Renegade without a top. So these were out from, I believe, 91 to 94. And yeah, they are one of the most uh, unique looking Wranglers ever to be sold, in my opinion. Boom, YJ Renegade. And I almost missed this final generation Honda Prelude parked right next to the Renegade here. I always love this design. It's kind of true to the Prelude form uh, while also being super conservative, super modern. This one obviously has the VTEC and tinted windows, some subtle white wheels. This VTEC sticker, I believe, uh, would have been aftermarket, but nonetheless, love a Honda Prelude, and uh, pretty much all of them still look extremely clean, which is the case with this one. Okay, the main reason I wanted to make this video is because there is this super bizarre, eclectic, old car dealership uh, right down the road here that I've driven by a few times and uh, they've got all kinds of weird stuff from the 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, it looks really well preserved because of the desert but at the same time uh, everything's kind of covered in dust just super super old-fashioned looking. Uh, we're almost there right now. Alright this is it. So the first thing we see is a spotless Mercury Grand Marquis. Priced at $8,900 plus a 5% buy fee. It's a 2001 Ultimate Edition. Check that out, 60,000 miles. <laughs> Behind it is an equally as clean Chrysler Pacifica. The bizarre stuff though is back here. You can kind of see several things poking out. <laughs> this is nuts. So there's an old Chevrolet van back there. A Ram Van Road Trek RV, BMW 6 Series, BMW Z4, Jag XKR, a Jeep Grand Cherokee parked between an old Cadillac and an old Mercedes, 
Here's a GTO, 35,000, 68 GTO. Wow, look at that CJ back there. Lots of old Mercedes. Got a Saab 93, 73 Super Beetle convertible. Wow. 91 Chrysler Imperial. You can see he's spraying the dust off of all of them right now. 67 Buick Skylark. This one jumped out at me from the streets. And 94 Pontiac Trans Am. Is that 25th anniversary edition? And you've got an old Volvo. A boat. 15,000. Not bad for that. Let's see. Century Sabre Boat, 1966. This one jumped out at me. Cadillac Alante, 1990. $7,500. This is Palm Springs right here to me. Super clean. You can see the Pininfarina badge on the fender there. Soft top looks to be in nice shape. Let's just say, hey. Chrysler, is it a Chrysler 300 limousine back there? Mercedes SL, 67 Chevelle SS convertible, and then here's the showroom. Boy, these window stickers are making it really easy for me. 1974 BMW 2002 Honda motorcycle. What is this thing? This is not my era. 1948 Lincoln Continental. 89 Mercedes 560 SL. 79 Lincoln Mark V. 1979 Lincoln Mark V. The last of the big cars. 40 years old and only 27 miles. For sale for $42,500. My goodness. It's a boat. It's huge. Look at it. It's the length of a Suburban. A modern suburban. I still think the Elante is my favorite. There's more. Here's a 1996 Mercedes S500 parked next to a 62 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia parked next to a 1994 Mustang GT convertible. Let's see what year is this Jeep. 72 CJ5. It's got a winch, the paint's really clean. It's got a bikini top, black wheels, nice lift. Oh, what's this? 62 Austin Healy Sprite. And an 87 420 SEO. stuff is wild. Alright, I think that about does it for the car scene here. To be honest, not as eclectic uh, as I was expecting. Uh, granted though, it is a kind of rainy Thursday morning in May. I think if we were here on a sunny Saturday afternoon in July, we'd probably see uh, a greater variety of cool cars here. But nonetheless, we saw a couple cool things. Uh, that car dealership is the main thing I wanted to show just because of how bizarre that kind of was. But anyway, yeah, that is your look at the car scene, at least on this Thursday morning, here in Palm Springs, California.